My name is Sarah Lippincott. On behalf of myself, my co-author Katherine Skinner of the Educopia Institute, and the entire NGLP team, I'm delighted to share with you how NGLP is exploring values-driven models for innovation in scholarly communication. Our project is building tools and resources that empower libraries to lead transformational change through a holistic approach that recognizes the centrality of values and principles and the interconnection between technology development and community development. Libraries, university presses, and independent scholar-led presses, often small, always mission-driven, digital-first publishers, have a growing influence on scholarly communication, yet these types of publishers have limited options when it comes to publishing platforms and services that understand and can meet their unique needs, the specific contexts in which they operate, the types of activities and business models that they use, the types of content that they work with and the constituencies that they serve and do all of this while aligning with academic values. The NGLP project is putting these academic values, which we have distilled from a range of open letters, manifestos, and statements uh, issued over the last dozen years or so at the heart of our project. These values include equity, accessibility, and anti-oppression, transparency, openness and interoperability, access to knowledge, representative governance, and financial and organizational uh, sustainability. We believe that these should be at the heart of any initiative that seeks to improve publishing pathways and to develop infrastructure for scholarly communication. We are, with these values in mind, developing a suite of resources that combine values alignment often associated with open source software with the convenience of turnkey publishing and repository solutions. The resources we're developing include two interoperable software components tailored to the unique needs of library publishers, as well as a business and governance framework, a values-based assessment toolkit, and a cohort of pilot implementations that will bring all of these resources to life. NGLP is a collaborative effort of Educopia, the California Digital Library and Strategies for Open Science, in close partnership with the Confederation of Open Access Services, and uh, our pilot uh, uh, partners, Longleaf Services and Janeway. And it's generally funded by Arcadia, a charitable fund of Lisbeth Rousing and Peter Baldwin. We are also collaborating with a range of other mission aligned organizations and individuals in the scholarly publishing infrastructure community. These include the Public Knowledge Project and For Science, uh, among others. So why, uh, why library publishing? Why expand the range of options available to library publish publishers? Libraries have long been at the forefront of open access advocacy and are increasingly investing in efforts to proactively transform scholarly communication. The 2020 edition of the Library Publishing Directory inventories 150 library-based publishing initiatives around the world and these range from small liberal arts colleges publishing a handful of journals, all the way to large universities and consortial initiatives building expansive portfolios of journals, books, learning objects, gray literature, experimental and new media, and other types of content. All of these initiatives are advancing openness and transparency at the global scale of scholarly communications ecosystem and are also seizing opportunities to address very local needs. Library publishing models offer robust alternatives to traditional publishing and make reputable, high quality open access scholarship broadly available, giving authors greater control over how their work is published and disseminated and providing a home for niche and experimental content that has not been historically well served by commercial publishing. Where traditional commercial publishers have left gaps or frustrations, libraries see potential for new service offerings. Publishing fits neatly within the existing portfolio of library activities. It has connections to library services as disparate as data curation and undergraduate information literacy. And it has a natural home alongside institutional repository programs and digital scholarship centers. 
library workers extensive knowledge of the processes and products of scholarly communication and their experience with content management are transferable skills that can be applied directly to library publishing. And libraries enjoy a unique and advantageous position on their campuses uh, due to the, the meaningful connections that they cultivate on a daily basis with faculty and students, with research centers and other units on campus, and their familiarity and comfort with working in partnership with their constituents. These are all assets that contribute to the success of a scholarly publishing program. Over the last 20 years and, and more, library publishing programs have repeatedly demonstrated their value and their viability as an alternative and a complement to commercial scholarly publishing. As they've expanded and matured, they require new technologies, new resources, new communities that allow them to effectively steward and promote and grow a, an ever evolving range and and increasing volume of scholarly and creative outputs. The NGLP project emerged to address these needs through a combination of research, community building, technology development, and service modeling. The first year of the project centered on community engagement to determine the specific technology and service needs of library publishers so that we ensured that we were building truly what the community required. We continue to consult with these stakeholders regularly through our working groups, requests for comment, uh, presentations like these and other, other channels of, uh, of incorporating community feedback. Our community engagement efforts have identified remarkably consistent needs and desires among library publishers, even across the range of contexts and scales and, uh, and activities uh, that they have. Library publishers want to continue working with the familiar and functional open source publishing tools that they already use. They don't want wholesale replacement of publishing platforms, but rather modular infrastructure that builds on top of what already works. Further, they want a seamless integrated user experience across these platforms to allow for, for sophisticated management and use of a diverse portfolio of published content. Um, to work across and break down silos that have traditionally existed between different types of, of content in which uh, the library has a hand, such as journal publishing and institutional repository programs. In particular, th they see a need for unified web delivery that would unite content from multiple sources such as different repositories or publishing platforms into a modern, flexible discovery and display system. They want to continue taking advantage of submission and curation tools that are optimized for different types of content, while also building a unified collection that represents the full breadth of scholarly and creative output that they manage, and that valorizes all of the content, puts all of it into a, a a, a modern and, and professional portfolio that, uh, that makes a, an undergraduate thesis look as polished as a journal article. Uh, and to facilitate the management of this portfolio, library publishers want an administrative dashboard that provides a bird's eye view of workflow and engagement metrics. Workflow metrics document significant mar uh, markers in a publication life cycle, uh, such as average time from submission to publication for a journal article, the acceptance and rejection rate for a journal, and a number of submissions assigned to each editor. These types of metrics facilitate capacity planning, resource allocation, and strategic planning for publications, and can be shared with editors and other stakeholders who have a uh, a vested interest in how publications are managed and how resources are, are distributed. Engagement metrics comprise views and downloads, the geographic reach of publications, referring sites, and other measures of the reach and impact of a publication. These metrics help library publishers, editors, authors, and other stakeholders uh, to see and to demonstrate the value of their work. Um, 
And to maintain these types of tools over time, library publishers expressed a preference for community governance and a desire for a robust marketplace of values aligned service providers that can offer a range of hosted turnkey solutions that mix and match different existing and new components into a variety of publishing stacks that are optimized for different types of use cases to represent the diversity of models and activities uh, of in, within the library publishing community. The NGLP team believes that open source software represents the best path forward for filling these gaps and addressing the challenges raised by the library publishing community while aligning with the interests and values of library publishers. However, open source software is resource intensive to build and to maintain. Many institutions, particularly small libraries, lack the human or financial resources to implement open source software. And recently, even larger institutions have begun to question the sustainability or viability of hosting open source software in-house uh, or an expa ever expanding portfolio of open source software in-house. A number of open source communities have launched their own hosting services for the platform uh, platforms and software that they maintain, uh, which has been a great boon for a lot of libraries. But what has been missing is our service providers that are knitting together multiple components to uh, into a single publishing stack uh, that can perform all of the functions that library publishers want and need from their publishing software. To address the technical challenges that are not already met by existing software, the NGLP team is partnering with Cottage Labs and Cast Iron Coding to build two open source software components that are interoperable with, uh, with existing um, systems. We are building a web delivery platform for unified content discovery and display and an analytics dashboard for usage and workflow metrics reporting. Interoperability is at the heart of these tools. They're designed to build on whatever, uh, what, what already works. Um, the widely adopted platforms that our community already knows and loves uh, and that are maintained by values or values uh, aligned organizations. For example, the web delivery platform ingests content from multiple upstream systems, uh, submission and curation systems such as Janeway, OJS, and DSpace that are optimized for certain types of content and aggregates them into a unified discovery and display platform. Administrators can mix and match content into different collections, customize templates for different community pages, and support a single access point to a rich and diverse content portfolio. The um, web delivery platform meets a range of use cases from a single library publisher that wants to unify content from a journal publishing platform and an institutional repository uh, to all the way to a consortial publisher that wants to aggregate content from multiple publishing partners into a single delivery system. The analytics dashboard gives library publishers a bird's eye view into workflow and engagement metrics for the publications. It ingests and aggregate and, and normalizes uh, both workflow and usage data from submission systems like OJS, Janeway, and DSpace, and from the web delivery platform into a series of dynamic um, and uh, intuitive visualization, vis visualizations and reports that can be analyzed and shared uh, and segmented in different ways. So we are building technologies that knit other technologies together. We knew we also needed community building work to knit together the collaborative support network that will, serve, that will steward the tools and uh, resources that we're developing into the future and make them available to libraries of all sizes. Technology is animated by people and communities. Um, 
over time, but NGLP is positioned as a project, not as a long-term host or a coordinator of, of the code into the future. Instead, we're putting our deliverables into the capable hands of a decentralized network of stakeholders who will collaboratively direct its development. To set this network up for success, we're building a governance framework that helps to define expectations for service providers or tool developers that want to participate in this nascent market marketplace that we are seeding. We're starting with coalition building. The long-term sustainability of a modular interoperable approach depends on cooperation across stakeholder groups, our service providers, the open source software communities that our components build upon, the library uh, end users of the software and services. So we are bringing together a group of these stakeholders to participate in trust building exercises and the shared development of a business framework. These stakeholders will build the connections necessary for a collaborative community of practice, define models for revenue flow back to open source communities, set standards for adherence to values and principles, and weigh in on the development of a trusted service provider registry. Our first aim is to build a community of practice that is defined not by a single tool or platform, but by a shared set of goals. Our governance work, uh, like our software, invites the community to consider where each component excels. We are starting not by dissolving boundaries between the different stakeholders in this coalition, but by building bridges across them. We want to identify where each partner and their technology components excel and leverage those assets as we address the gaps. We are encouraging moving beyond the vertical alignment and engagement exercises that, are, that open source software communities engage in on a daily basis, engaging directly with their, their current users, their current developers, the community that they operate within, and to move towards a horizontal alignment, ensuring that their work is, in, is acting in coordination with complementary initiatives. Next, we are outlining expectations regarding reciprocity and financial investment expectations for service providers in the NGLP marketplace. We want to ensure that service providers who are benefiting from the open source technologies that are maintained through the, the generosity of the library community and all of these open source software providers are contributing directly back a portion of the revenues that, that they receive um, based on the, their, the hosted turnkey solutions they provide directly back into these open source communities to ensure a, a long-term uh, uh, flow of revenue and sustain, sustainable uh, sources of revenue for these open source components that are so critical to our, our library community. We are also encouraging the uh, governance, um, our governance framework group to work with the, uh, the NGLP values and assessment framework to encourage adherence to a specific and concrete set of indicators of alignment with academic values and principles. So going beyond the, um, the kind of general statements of alignment or interest in working with the library publishing community to being able to substantiate adherence to a specific set of, of values that are important to library publishing and that span, um, span all of these areas from, from a business's practices in um, building uh, open, uh, openly licensed code that is interoperable all the way through to, uh, to the um, succession planning and, um, and uh, financial sustainability aspects. And finally, we are working with our our, we will be working with our governance framework group to uh, to develop a trusted a model for a trusted provider registry that builds peace of mind in the community that gives libraries the confidence in long in the long term sustainability and values alignment of 
these service providers they choose to partner with that solidifies the commitment of those service providers to coordinating with others and to truly participating in this cooperative marketplace and uh, that provides a level of accountability back to stakeholders and the library publishing community in specific and concrete ways to ensure that that software development service model development over time continues to align with and represent the interests of the library publishing community. There are a number of ways for uh, that we invite you to get involved in the NGLP project. We have a, a variety of public documentation available, uh, both technical and, uh, and, and other types of documentation. We have a user group for library publishers who are interested in potentially adopting these components to provide specific feedback as we develop them. Uh, we are recruiting pilot partners for the pilot phase uh, to implement some of these components in partnership with one of our service provider partners. And uh, we also invite you to get directly in touch with us through our wonderful project manager, Kate Herman, who you can email at kate at edgecopia.org. We look forward to your feedback and questions after this presentation and hope that you will continue to follow the uh, work of the Next Generation Library Publishing Project.